Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. When I'm using iOS and iPadOS, I love using widgets to customize my home screens and it's something that I'd like to be able to do with Mac OS. Well, with this application that we're going to cover today, Widget Wall, I can. Now, whilst it doesn't have anywhere near the amount of widgets available that our mobile devices do, there are some key ones that I'm sure you're going to find useful. Right, first, let's take a look at where you can get Widget Wall from and how much it costs. So it's available from three places. First, we have the developer site itself at amicoapps.com. And if I click on pricing, we can see it costs just under $10 per year. And below the price there, we can see that it's downloadable from the App Store as well as being available on Setup. And that's the version that we're going to use today. So I'll close this Safari window here. In fact, let's just completely close the app. We don't need it. And I've got a setup open here so that you can see how it appears on the setup page. Now I'm not going to click open here. I want to have a blank desktop behind me. So I'll close setup, then invoke Alfred or Spotlight, of course, to launch the app itself. And then Widget Wall loads and it's running now and it's placed a number of default widgets onto my desktop already, as well as a welcome window for me to navigate, which I'll do now. So I click next. And this message tells you that even if you've got apps and windows open on the screen are covering your widgets, if you want to quickly get to them, then you can press function and F11 to move all of the open windows away and see your widgets that are sitting behind. Then next, we're told that we use the menu bar icon to configure widget wall and add new widgets to the desktop. Then next, we right click on a widget to customize it. And then finally, we can elect to turn widget wall on automatically when we log in. So I will turn this on and then click done. And we now have our desktop with the default widgets nicely lined up. And we're going to run through each of these and show you how to configure them and how to add more. So first, let's click on the menu bar icon and it pops out a configuration window into what looks a bit like a sidebar. And all of the available widgets that you can add are listed here. So we have a clock, we have weather, there's a calculator, some system stats, a widget for application shortcuts. Then we have my favorite one, which is a browser that you can have set for a specific website or page. Then we have photos as well as a sticky note that you can place on there as well. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.